In today's video, we're going to be playing Delver of Secrets in Modern. The way that we're going to be doing this is by taking a Grixis shell and playing cards like Disrupting Shoal, Flame of Anor, and Sauron's Ransom. And if you've never seen Disrupting Shoal, this is an X2 blue spell that's similar to Force of Will. The reason this is because you can exile a blue card from your hand rather than playing the mana cost, and you can counter a spell with CMC X. And the reason that we can play Delver is because we're on such a low land count because Lorne Revealed just is a land that's also a spell. So we're going to be taking this sweet Grixis Delver list through a League of Modern and seeing how this got a 5-0 and if we can replicate that. Match one, we are on the draw and our starting hand looks quite strong. Bono goes turn one Besage you into a suspended footballs. We draw a Misty Rainforest full shock in our watery grave and play out of Delver. And the main phase opponent cycles a Lorne revealed and plays out of Triumph. Let's go one for one on a Delver flip. We'll play out our Misty, attack in for three. And we're gonna hold up our disrupting shoal. They play out an Ottawara passing back. We're gonna cycle a Lorne revealed and we'll pick up a Steam Bins. We top deck another land, we will shock in our steam vents and attack in for three and they go for a petty theft on our delver which is fun we'll fetch out island redeploy our delver passing back holding up our troll no land for the opponent <laughs> we get to flip delver again we'll attack in for three then we'll fire off a pure dane uh spell snare is bad but spell pierce is great then we'll play out our island and on the end step they fire off a violent outburst and we will spell pierce the footfalls and then their upkeep suspended footfalls comes off and we will try and shoulder this and we counter it they play out a misty then they play out a shardless cascade into another rhinos and we find a misty we will fetch shock fire off a shieldred's edict making them sacrifice a token and we'll fire it off again making them give her the other token then attacking for three or attacks in for two Ugh, they got a merc tide that's so good all right consider off the top let's fire off our draw three okay our own merc tide actually does something and we're gonna hold back an opponent fires off dismember which means that they have 10 points on the board so we gotta scoop it up and get on to game two for sideboarding we're gonna take out two shoals for bolts a spell snare and two edicts for two chalice two fluster storm two forces and three counters game two our hand just a little too weak so we'll mull and it looks like we're going down to five and yeah this hand is good enough we'll put back two considers an opponent has a pre-game action of putting in a land we'll go turn one island into a delver <laughs> that meets the dispute oh my goodness and we'll throw our chalice down zero all right cycles a lorne revealed picking up a reading pool another steam fence for us we'll play one tapped they play an island we top deck a counter they play at a tarn and on their end step we will go for a flame trying to draw two and this meets a flame of their own getting rid of our chalice land and delver both very good they play out a forest and we get another delver flip and we'll attack in for three and they play out a dead kill in our delver and i think we actually need this delver so we're gonna counter this uh they have a violent outburst and we could fluster this but that does literally nothing all right well they got some rhinos and flame was a great top deck we will fire that off drawing two and killing a rhino oh wait this isn't oh, why is this not a wizard all right uh i guess we need to kill one of the rhinos then we'll attack in for three they attack in for four then cast the fire ice killing our insect all operation free your dane off the top Ugh. and bottoming both of these actually we'll keep a consider it's better than a random card fire off the consider mm, yeah that's a good one we'll keep the merc tide and we'll play that out they cycle a triumph no attacks we find a land we will attack in for eight no attacks from the opponent and we find another merc tide well let's attack in and they flash in a subtlety pretty happy with the chump block here so then we will cast our lorne reveal drawing three and no land and they scoop it up let's get on to game three game three our hand again just two weeks so at the mole and i guess we're on another five here because this hand just does nothing <laughs> come on all right four sure i guess we will put back a consider a bow masters and a counter spell they lead on turn one tarn we will lead on a turn one chalice that does resolve so we'll fetch out a steam vents and play out our delver when it plays out a misty and we cannot reveal an orcish bow master so we'll fire off a consider and that meets a dispute so let's poke in for one it plays out immutable we reveal drum roll hey let's go flip our delver let's attack in for three please no endurance i am going to concede let's go <laughs> i mean i had to attack anyway i don't think there's anything we can do differently and they kill our aberration so let's fire off a consider trying to find a land and we don't want another delver no land they shock in the steam vents and attack in for three land is great let's fire off a pure dane and both of these are bad we'll bottom both <laughs> let's go and on the end step they flash in a borrower they attack in for six passing back we will find a water grave horse is not bad they play out of foothills and go to attack and we're gonna have to flash in this bow masters and that meets a subtlety yep opponent has us here we'll scoop it up and get on to match number two
Match two, we're on the play, and we'll keep our seven. We'll shock in our water grave and go turn one Delver. Chrono goes turn one Swamp into an Inquisition, and they take our snap. Ah, uh, no flip, unfortunate. We'll play our strand and attack in for one. Opponent plays out a Gyre Reach Sanitarium into a Bowmasters, and down goes our Delver. And on the end step, we will cast a Shielders Edict, killing the Bowmasters. Top deck flame, we take those. And we're going to main phase this draw two, finding two more lands. They shock in a Blood Crypt into Liliana, ticking up, and we're going to discard an island oh shield tricks edict off the top we'll play a tap steam vents passing back they tick up with lily we will get rid of our watery grave they poke in for one Ugh. they go land into shieldred i guess we're gonna shield tricks edict killing shieldred labor w and we find a lorn revealed so we'll cycle that for a land then play out a tap steam vents when it plays out a dothy ticking up with their lily and i think we have to bolt the dothy hope we top deck a snapcaster mage to flashback an edict I'm not sure why they didn't play the land out. And another land for us. Guess we'll play that out. I don't play that away. It's not taking up with a lay. All right, please give me a snap off the top. Gosh, dang it. Yeah, and at this point, we're too far behind. They've got to reach Sanitarium on seven. We could bolt the Lily, but at this point, we're still not winning. So we'll scoop it up and get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out four shoals and a bolt for Orcish Bowmaster to dress down and two force. Game two, we have no lands. So we got a bolt. And this hand looks fine. We'll put back a shield or edict. We'll go turn one island into a Delver. One goes turn one blood crypt into a lightning bolt on our delver another land for us an opponent fires off an inquisition after playing admire <laughs> another land for us let's go guess we're just gonna slam our merc tide here a 4-4 flyer in a dream one plays at a guy reach into a lily unfortunate Ooh, consider off the top let's go delver that seems so bad to keep i'm gonna bottom it please down the land a force negation great perfection they tick up with lily we'll discard our misty they play out a driving school summon into a dothy and a shield rex eat off the top Let's go. Goodbye, Liliana. And they flash into Bow Masters on the insta. They put another Dothy into a burned inquiry. Can you deal us four damage? Or three damage, apologies. And they attack in for eight. I'm not sure what we can draw here. We'll flash in a dress down on the insta. Okay. Flame does nothing. <laughs> Merktide also does nothing. Okay, let's draw two. Maybe we can draw a Fury that we don't have in our deck. Ah, unfortunate. Almost drew into the Fury. So let's scoop it up and get on to match number three. Match three, we're on the draw. Our hand looks quite powerful. An opponent's leading on a turn one Verdant. Into a mini parties. I don't know what's going on here. This looks spicy. And they pick up a forest, making a food. Steam vents off the top. Good draw. We'll shock that in and go turn one Delver. They play out a forest into a halfling. And another mini partings. Picking up another forest. Ah, we find another Delver. No flip for us. We will bolt down their halfling. Let's shock out a watery grave. And play another Delver, attacking in for one. And they play out a mana factor, which we can cast our force of will let's go easy dubs all right come on flip a delver a merc tide reach it now guess we will attack in for two passing back i'm gonna place that in urza saga into another mana factor into a disciple of the vault that is spooky please flip preordain let's go we'll fire off our preordain uh, i think we will bottom both of these and another preordain and these are definitely two good ones i think i'd rather a three cmc spell in case they have another mana factor so that we can force of will pitch it and then we'll attack in for six and they cast out another three drop force of will i don't even know if this is good but we're forcing it then they play out a shadow spear and poke in for one we draw our snap we will attack in for six then we will slam a merc tide we're gonna keep bolt in the yard just so that we can flash it back with our snap if we find it Opponent floats a man off saga playing out a parent took then discards a card off of saga making a bunch of tokens and they have nothing else left left in hand so i think we're actually gonna win this game they sacrifice two treasures to sacrifice a clue and draw a card dealing three damage to us off a of disciple then play out a land shocking in and they die let's go force of will look strong let's get on to sideboarding we're gonna take out two shielders edict spell snare three spell pierce merc tide and a swan's ransom for orcish bowmaster three counter spells two fatal push and two dress down game two no lands we got a mole and this is definitely a good hand we will put back a land i goes turn one besage you into a guild goose another bolt for us we'll shock in our steam vins and play turn one delver i don't cast a finale of devastation for zero picking up an asmo oh man no land for the opponent let's go and we top deck a flame of anor flipping our delver we'll play at our strand we will bolt their asmo and we're actually gonna bolt their gilded goose too oh my god they scoop it up let's go we're on the board let's get on to match four Match three, we are on the draw, and our starting hand looks quite strong. Opponent goes turn one wooded foothills. We find a shoal. We will shock in our steam vents, and we'll fire off a preordain. Uh, 
I guess we'll keep both of these. Or goes turn two steam fence and oh baby, another force of will. <laughs> Let's go. Let's cycle our Lorne revealed, picking up a watery grave and we'll shock it in holding up a spell pierce and they fire off a Pyrdane. Yeah, we will spell pierce this and they miss a land drop. We find a consider. We will play out our Delver and pass back. When it plays a tapped warp in mine, we'll fire off consider and we're going to bottom our lightning bolt, finding land and we see another land on top. No flipping of Delver. We'll play out our canal and attacking for one. And opponent plays out a fable and we'll let that resolve. And on the end step, we will fire off a Sauron's ransom and we'll take the face down pile. I mean, land in a bolt. Hey, we do get to flip our Delver. We will bolt their Goblin Shaman, play out our Misty and attack in for three. They loot away a Dwarven Mine, play one out and fetch out another Dwarven Mine. And they fire off a Creativity for two. So we're going to have to play a little risky here. Let's grab an Island and fire off a Sauron's Ransom. We need to find a Lorne Revealed to pitch this Disruption Shoal. All right, we'll take this first pile. Let's go. <laughs> and Force of Will, your Indomitable Creativity. We find another Consider. We will attack in with our Apparition. And we're going to loot away this land here. We'll shock in our steam vents and we'll fire off one of our considers. Flame of Anor is a good one. We'll keep that. And they fire off another creativity and we will cast a Flame of Anor, killing a dwarf and then fire off a bolt on the other. Find a Merc Tide. That's okay. We'll fire off consider. Uh, sure. And we'll attack in with our Insect Liberation. Ooh. We'll loot away our Merc Tide regent. And then pass back to the opponent. They play out a Teferi. And is it worth risking the ransom? I think it is. And I guess we'll take the two face down uh, nope i guess snap or teferi's resolving bouncing our apparition Ooh, bow masters huge draw we will cast out a bow masters killing their teferi then we'll play out a canal passing back they play out a ordered foothills passing back on the end step we'll flash in our snap targeting a lightning bolt and we're gonna bolt face that needs a spell pierce but we get a force of well <laughs> easy doves all right let's get on to sideboarding for sideboarding we're gonna take out disrupting shoals and bolts for counter spells force negations fluster storms and an oakish board master game two our hand looks quite powerful we top deck a snap we'll go turn on canal one plays out of xander's lounge and we'll fire off consider another spell pierce seems good we top deck a Pyrdane, we'll fire that off the uh, swan's ransom is good yeah we'll keep that and bottom the edict they play tap foundry and we'll cycle revealed picking up a watery grave and it was a great draw we'll shock in our watery grave they play out a dwarven mine on the end step we'll fire off a ransom and we'll take the face down pile we really just want lands okay all right we'll cycle revealed picking up a steam vents we will shock that in and then we will play out our bowmaster trying to kill the dwarf and on the end step they bolt our bowmaster they play out another mine then fire off a creativity which we will spell pierce surprised they didn't put more of a fight there another ransom we will attack in for one and we're gonna fire off a ransom now trying to find some lands uh yeah we'll definitely take the top pile grabbing the land we'll play at our island and we'll pass back on attacks in for one <laughs> another force negation we will attack in with our ring bearer and i guess we'll loot away one of these flames then we will slam our murky boy play out a misty and hold up all of our interaction then we're gonna accept they have a leyline binding taking out our, i'm assuming the murktide when it fetches out a dwarven mine and then cast a creativity which we will hard cast a force negation then they poke in for one we top deck a delver we'll attack in for one and we're gonna bend our delver we really don't need it at this point then we'll fire off a consider uh we'll bend on the land and we do find a counter awesome all right tax in for three and on the end step we will flash in our snap and cast a flame of anor from the yard we'll kill a dwarf and draw two and that meets a spell pierce <laughs> another snap all right well let's attack in uh i think we'll get rid of a flame and pass back all right attacks in for three and plays out a fable we will cast a force negation on that and then on the end step we'll cast a flame of anor killing a dwarf and drawing two who bow masters out the top we'll play out an island attack in for three and we'll loot away the land and pass back when it attacks in for two we will flash in a bow masters killing a dwarf and then we'll trade off a dwarf for the bowmasters and on end step we will flash in another snap and cast out a sword's ransom from the yard and we'll take two considers giving our orc the ring we find another sword's ransom which actually i think wins us the game here so we'll cast this out uh i guess we'll take the face down pile give the orc army the ring again attack in for six yep and when the orc connects we get a trigger meaning that they lose three life so that's game let's get on to match number five
Match five, we are on the play, and this hand just doesn't do anything really, so we'll mull. And this six is much stronger. We will put back, I actually think I don't want the Delver here, as weird as that sounds. We'll lead on turn one, Misty. And it goes turn one, Spire Bluff into a DRC, then cast out a Bobble. And on the end step, we will find a Steam Vents and cycle a Lorne Revealed. And our upkeep, they Bobble us, seen a Murktide. We'll play out our tapped Water Grave. And it plays a Delta and pokes in for one. <laughs> oh my, three of a kind, that is not good. And it plays a Canal, fetches out an Island, and then dashes a Monkey. And I actually think it might be right to concede now to conceal what we're actually on. Yeah, this might be weird. I'm going to concede before Ragran hits us so they don't know that we're on Delver and maybe they think we're on Shadow or something. We're going to take out four Shoals, three Merc Tides, a Flame, and a Swarm's Ransom for Unlicensed Hurst, two Dress Down, two Fluster Storms, three Counter Spells, and a Bowmasters. Game two, our seven has no lands. Ugh, I don't love this hand, but I will keep putting back a Steam Vents. We'll lead on turn one Spire Bluff. When it goes turn one Steam Vents and two DRC. So on the end step, we will far off consider and snap is definitely a good card yeah i will keep it reluctantly we top deck a grave we'll play out our strand it fires off a preordain and we're definitely going to spell pierce this they attack in we find a ransom we will shock in our watery grave passing it plays out an island and attacks in for one and we'll just cycle our one revealed on the instep we find a counter spell we'll play land passing back and on the instep they fire off consider and in response to this i'm gonna soren's ransom because if they have a spell pierce we can fluster storm counting the consider and the spell pierce oh they have a fluster storm wait i think we actually get to do the thing all right see this is exactly why i wanted to do this so they're gonna fluster storm make all their copies targeting this and in response we will fluster storm countering their fluster storms and we even get to counter the consider so this is essentially a two for one. Oh my god fluster storm is so confusing on magic online that i don't even know what i just did okay well i didn't get the two for one i accidentally just fluster storm the same fluster storm like five times so whatever pretend that this wasn't magic online and i did this correctly and we'll take the bottom pile but it pokes in for one then plays out a 7-7 seven, seven Merktide. We find a Preordain. We'll fire that off. Uh, we will bottom both of these. Finding the lands. They attack in. We will flash in a snap. And we will target our Shieldred's Edict. Then go to block their DRC. And they do have a bolt for this. Spinning a counter spell. And we just have to let that resolve. And then we will fetch out an island and flash back our Shieldred's Edict. Uh, dress down is not good. Well, I don't think we have any outs to this, sadly. We'll cast our Lorne Revealed. Yep. And sadly, no way to beat this Merktide. I, I definitely definitely messed this game up with the preordain or not the preordain with the fluster storm but anyways we end up with a nice two three finish i will say i think this was actually a pretty impressive list i don't think i really enjoyed the delvers i think the rest of this list had a lot of legs i would probably just completely cut the delvers the fact that it just dies to run in six it dies to bowmaster like playing any x ones is very very hard in this you know current modern metagame the only x one that's really even playable is ochre's bowmasters because of how powerful the card is but the rest of this deck felt really good disrupting shoal had a lot of shine here but anyways i hope you all enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one